Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we could be painting this simple landscape with a sunset in the background and some wattle and grasses in a foreground. So let's get started. And a cricket. Can you see a cricket? I forgot to mention a cricket. Yep, there is a cricket there also. I started with drawing a circle where my sun is going to be and then mixed in ultramarine and sepia to paint in the sky and also to paint in the, well, the first layer of my ground where those grasses are going to be. Now I'm adding a little bit of raw sienna mixed in with the sapia around the sun and just burnt sienna also around the sun. After that I'm adding a little bit of cadmium yellow medium really around the sun, just painting the, the part nearest to the sun and also adding here and there a little bit of that mix of ultramarine and sapia just to add in some difference. I don't want a blob of yellow here and blob of blue there. So I'm just adding a little bit of that mix of ultramarine and sapia. And right now I just painted in with a cadmium lemon just around the sun where I want the part to be the brightest. I want that part to be the brightest and this time I've used a small round brush because I did want it to be a little bit more precise and also add in a little bit more pigment. After the paint completely dried I'm now pre-wetting the entire paper except for the part where the sun is. I was just going around the sun because I don't want my paint to bleed into the sun. And right now I've turned around my paper. This is actually painting the ground right now. And I've added a little bit of green to my sapia and ultramarine to get that greenish grayish color. And I painted in the, the ground. I've also tilted my paper for the ground and now for the sky because I do want my colors to, to bleed slightly and to mix in just to add a little bit of darker spots here, a little bit of lighter spots there. Again, after the paint completely dried, I'm using now the script brush. I do love that brush to painting in the branches and grasses because I can achieve quite thin lines with that. I don't need a round brush with a pointy tip even though I really don't have one with that pointy tip. So I am using a script brush, but I'm just so used to it and I just so love it that now I don't even want to switch to any other brush. I find this liner brush to be very versatile. Right now I'm sprinkling also some paint, even though that won't be so visible later on, it will be slightly visible. And I do want to add a little bit of interest to my grass. And I did cover the sky and sun, so the the sprinkles won't go into it. Right now again I'm using just a little bit water and I'm using a smaller brush because with that brush I pick up also less water and just dry brushing some paint mimicking the lower grasses. And now with the detail brush again I'm adding some higher grasses, some higher bottle and just at the tops of them adding a little bit of, I wouldn't say that's not the flower, but just those tops. And also I'm not really trying to paint it exactly and perfectly, just stopping in the color, adding some lines. And right now I'm painting in that small little cute cricket and I don't think it's really very pre perfect cricket. I did not pre-sketch it. I just added it also tapped in some well, silhouette and impression that there is maybe some animal, some cute little cricket there. And when I added his, you know, those things going from his head, it just did start to look maybe a little more like a cricket. And after finishing that, I'm just adding a little bit more of those weeds with uh, with a script brush and also this time I'm using mix of sapia and raw sienna because I do want those to be a little bit lighter you know just looking like they're lit from the sun and at the end I will be sprinkling a couple of sprinkles with white gouache adding maybe some flowers in the lower part of my grasses 
and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching I hope it was pretty easy I'm sure you can try it you can just do it very very easily and if you do like it please hit the like button share this video comment please I always love to see your comments and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll see you next time bye